Hello traders, welcome to the Wednesday forecast. As we know, this is the day that the trends begin, usually. So usually we start getting some nice trades and trends on a Wednesday until Friday. So those are the best trading days, according to my backtesting, of course. Now for the Euro US dollar, this pair is looking very range bound on the larger scale. So also on the larger scale, I'm seeing a V reversal, a really big V reversal and I'm seeing a range. So because of a V and a range, usually this starts going down. It starts a nice downtrend, which it's starting now. So we got the nice large impulse down. Look at the size of this impulse compare it to size of the other candles and you will see that this is clear momentum to a downside that is exactly what we're expecting after a v and a range that is what i'm always blabbering on about and that is something for you to backtest so a v a range and then what happens do we go down do we go up or do we get the larger range you check it you backtest it and then you will see so there was an opportunity to enter actually there was no opportunity but right here there was a reversal potential so maybe some people were seeing these de this descending and then they were looking to buy and then they saw a nice push up with a nice clean close for me i did not have an order on because of the larger price action so on the larger picture price action was telling me it wants to go down so prior price action is the most important thing if the prior price action is telling me price wants to go down well then i'm not looking to buy if I get any sort of a setup, I'm looking for more evidence. So I was looking for a push up, pull back, then a continuation. Right here, I did not have an order on. As I said, prior price action is king. It always determines where the. It, go, it always tells us what is the highest probability that will happen. Will price go down or up or sideways? In this case, price was telling me it wants to go down. And yeah, I did not have an order on. Currently, I'm looking for this to continue down, then give me a nice flag or a nice break and retest. I am looking to sell here. I am looking for a short trade. So, of course, this can just give us a larger range, continue with the range. That can also happen, but the probabilities are telling us that the price will go down. If the price reverses, because anything can happen, of course, in the markets, anything can happen. We cannot be a hundred percent sure of anything if we get a v then i'm looking for looking for a range and then a flag to go up but the best scenario here is for the price to start trending down i will then be looking for a short setup we can now go on euro japanese yen this pair is pretty range bound looking pretty crappy um let's see on the larger scale yeah the prior price action was also range bound so definitely not seeing a lot of potential with this pair. We saw a V reversal. Then we expected this range, but we were waiting for the price to push down. Instead, the price went up and down with the same sort of momentum, created another V reversal. Currently, to be honest, I'm being a lot more patient with this pair. I'm seeing that the overall price action, the prior price action is looking range bound. I'm being more patient. I'm waiting for a trend up or trend down. I'm waiting for a high probability setup to form. I'm also waiting for a range here and then a trend to a downside, of course, or a large impulse up and then a push up. This pair is currently not on my radar. Nothing interesting is forming. So we're being more patient. Aussie US dollar, same thing. So very, very range bound. Uh, it's not showing me any potential. We did have sort of a potential for a long trade right here. But for me personally, I did not have an order on. I wanted to see a slower pullback to the entry level, which was of course here. But unfortunately, we did not get that sort of a pullback. So instead, price just slammed to a downside which is exactly what we don't want to see we don't want to see a momentum shift when the price is going to our entry area so yeah stayed out of this one too just did not fit my plan also prior price action was not really showing me some nice potential to be honest this whole price action right here it's looking pretty crappy loads of wicks so yeah just not a lot of potential 
currently we have this descending going into an ascending channel then we broke the low again retraced left a huge wick what i'm expecting here so i'm expecting that we will get a larger range what i need to see to look for a trade is of course a large impulse down or a large impulse up and then i will look to buy or sell on a nice uptrend or on a nice downtrend so just wait it out wait for the price to clear up aussie jpy for this one i'm seeing this ascending channel and then price is going to the upside so still looking very range bound maybe some people were looking to buy on a break and retest right here because they saw a bit of momentum a small pullback and the continuation for me just i wasn't seeing first this is not much momentum and then this push up it just barely broke and it left the wick so this break is just definitely not enough for me to look for a trade and the prior price action i mean it's pretty crappy here we had a huge range then we just pushed down and just started ranging in this area so to be honest i'm just waiting for the price to clear up a bit more this is not showing me any potential what i'm looking for here is well let me just exit the replay i am expecting a larger range but what i'm looking for is well i'm looking for a large impulse up or a large impulse down and then a continuation pattern so i'm looking for the price to clean up and give me a nice uptrend or a nice downtrend i would say same as on the aus us dollar and same as on the euro jpy currently only euro us dollar is giving me some sort of a potential rest of the pairs are pretty sleepy so the pound us dollar uh, we have the simples down then we were ranging for a really long time as you know this was the most recent low this was the most recent high we were stuck between the low and the high finally broke down finally broke the low but then of course reached the liquidity area and retraced as expected usually when the price breaks the low into the liquidity area it retraces so now i'm expecting a range right here because we just broke and we retraced what i would like to see to be honest is a bit of more of a descending and then a trend up so why is that important because then we would descend into this liquidity area taking out the stops catching capturing momentum to the upside then the market makers usually reverse the price start a nice uptrend that is where we come in we notice the push up pullback and then we get in on a nice break and retest or on a nice flag so right here i'm looking for this sort of a scenario or i'm looking for a larger impulse down and then a flag or a nice break and retest you know that on the pound i need to see a large impulse i, I really need to see conviction and momentum so i'm being really really careful with the pound as always new zealand jpy as all of the other japanese pairs it's kind of looking range bound right here lots of ranges no potential i didn't have an order on at any point i was just seeing this descending structure going into an ascending into another descending and now ascending again then we got some momentum again not really large momentum we pulled back continued but then left a huge wick so right here i definitely don't have this pair on my radar i'm expecting a larger wider range what i want to see to get in on a trade is a nice push up flag or a nice push down and then a nice flag or break and retest of course so on this pair i'm trading all of the setups the reversals the flags the break and retests everything goes but i need to see some momentum and i need to see price clean up so markets are slowing down this this month was pretty good i made some really good percentage got into some really nice trades but looks like we are pausing which is to be expected usually after a good month we get a nice we get a pause the markets are kind of winding down the the let's say accumulation or the distribution phase is happening so the trending phase is over but again we are prepared if price pushes up if price pushes down we will be ready to take those trades that's it for the forecast see you guys on friday and yeah 
good trading and i will see you guys in the next one